Hey guys, welcome back to the Rob Pop YouTube channel, your number one pit stop for all things Eurovision, and we're about to take on a reaction to the craziest nation in the Eurovision land. That's San Marino. Deep breaths, everyone. San Marino, San Marino, San Marino. Where do you even begin to discuss the law of San Marino? Their entire national final selection is just the wildest thing. Anyone from across the lands can choose to audition if they want. So very often the people that represent San Marino are not in fact from San Marino or even anywhere that close. That is the case this year. They're being represented by Megaro with the song 1111. Now, if you've watched Benidorm Fest in the last few years, you may recognize this band from Benidorm Fest 2023. Their song Arcadia made the final. It received quite a lot of hype amongst the fans. I wasn't as hyped. I thought it was good, but the fans definitely really enjoyed this. So clearly this year, they've taken themselves all the way to San Marino and pulled off what I heard was like a shock win. But either way, they're at Eurovision, so who's laughing now? San Marino can really only do better than last year. They quite literally received zero points with their song. What was the song called? A few moments later. Like an animal. <laughs> My, that's how much I remember it. Their last good result was the icon that is Senate and Flowrider, which still feels like a fever dream to me. So yeah, San Marino was an entire country in Eurovision are like a fever dream to me so I'm going into this not a clue what I'm going to get but forever excited. But before we do begin this video it would be amazing if you could subscribe to this channel. I am on a mission as I repeat in every single video to hit 500 subscribers before this Eurovision season is out. So if you enjoy the campery, you enjoy the fun, you enjoy the, <gasps> the drama of it all, that's what you can expect from the Rob Pop YouTube channel. But you know how we do it at this point, we have a cup of tea at the ready, we're gonna sit back and we're gonna react together. This is Megara 11.11 San Marino Eurovision 2024. Let's go. Let me start the video off by saying that this is clearly a national final with bad sound. So I'm gonna try not to judge them for that. We're going in with another very rock heavy entry from them. This isn't bad. I felt like last year their song sounded a bit more 80s. This is straight up rock. Or like pop punk. I feel like there's not much elevation from the verses to the chorus. The structure doesn't feel amazing. Like, is this the chorus? No, this is the chorus. I really like her as a front woman. She's got a lot of energy and the vocals can keep up. I don't find it particularly catchy. Like, I'm liking the vibe of it. I like the rocky elements to it, but I can't think of much that's going to stick in my head. I'm liking this hot pink skeletal idea. The colour scheme of this whole thing is very fun actually. What's going on now? This bit is empty, this could do with some vocals. That was just like the emptiest 20 seconds, like, do something Charlie. I think I like the vibe of this more than I actually like the song, but it could be a grower. I'm certainly bopping, I don't, I don't hate this. Well, you better sing in our faces. Woo! Cute! My first take from that is that I feel like I like everything about it more than I actually like the song. I really like her and the band. She's a really great commanding front woman. She, her vocals constantly stay on point, even though she's constantly giving it energy, constantly giving it performance. Points for her, definitely points for her. I like the vibe of the song. I like that they're going for something a bit heavier rock. Last time I, I do seem to think they were going for something that felt a bit more like 80s inspired, kind of like synths in amongst their rock. This feels a lot heavier and I do like that. My problem with this is I just can't imagine what part of the song is going to get stuck in my head. I felt like the chorus didn't differentiate itself enough from the verses to have a hook that gets lodged in my head. So as much as I quite like the vibe, I can't imagine myself going off to sing this or having it stuck in my head at the end of the day. If this is on like midway through, I can't imagine myself remembering this without the help of the recap. So it's not that this is bad. I do actually think there is a good song beneath this. I just don't know if it's catchy enough. And this year we've got a lot of up tempos. It's not a very ballad heavy year. 
So you're competing with up tempos that I think are much catchier and have bigger hooks that get lodged in people's heads. But I think this might just get lost for feeling a bit less strong. Maybe not being as well produced, feeling a little bit more amateur. But then, as I said, I don't know how much of that is just because of the restraints of the stage that they're performing on. I could immediately tell within the first few seconds oh, the sound quality of this mic isn't great, the mixing isn't great. So that immediately puts you at this kind of back foot where the song has to be so good to kind of overcome that barrier. So I do have sympathy with them for that. And I think maybe if this was performed at Benidorm Fest and they had a big stage to perform on, the whole thing could feel a bit more alive. So I am gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. And I think at Eurovision, they have the ability to play with staging more. They've got better sound quality. And I think this whole thing could feel a bit more electrifying because they've certainly got the performers to do it. They've got clearly a good idea behind what they want to do with the staging. And I think if they can just bring that together, this could be a grower at Eurovision. And I definitely think they're on for a better result than last year. The question is whether this qualifies still though, because I personally think this is a really strong year of Eurovision. And as I've said, there's some really strong up tempos. That being said, they are in a semi-final, I think with currently less standout up tempos. Maybe this will stand its own in semi-final two because there's a few more mid tempos in there. My gut instinct says that it won't and my gut instinct does think this could be a bit forgettable. Like a, a five or a six out of 10 for me. But that's what I think. What do you think? Do you think this is better than I've given it credit for? A San Marino gonna be an underdog or is it another year sat in the semi-finals for them? Let me know what you think down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed what you saw and hit that bell if you want notifications every time I upload a video. We're coming towards the end now, but we're getting a lot of entries in the next few weeks. So if you wanna know what I've got to say for the likes of UK, Cyprus, Sweden, best believe it's coming, hit that bell. But for now, from San Marino, by way of Spain, sending love to San Marino, one of the most unique nations at Eurovision. But for now, good night.